Today we are going to be looking at the Naruto Ninja Storm 3 game. Like everyone else is doing. Need some more light on there. But I happen to have gotten the special edition. Now, I know a lot of my friends are going to think I'm just making this video to do bragging rights, which is a tiny bit true, I'm not going to lie. But what the real reason is, is to show people why you should buy the special edition. Now, they did the special edition for the first game, which, um, for the hell of it, I'll get it and show that one in. Show you how this before. Yeah, so they, sorry, hit the tripod, yay. So they did a special edition for the first game. Front, and if you take the sleeve off, you can make it either Naruto or Sasuke. And that was really good, and you got uh, Karzu and everything. But for the Generation, or Storm 2 and Generations, no special edition was made for US release. So, the reason why I make this video is to show special edition features for Naruto Storm 3 so that people will buy them, and hopefully, when we get Storm 4, they'll make a special release for that too. Special edition. So, I will begin with the game. The game is standard for everyone right now. You get the Naruto Goku outfit DLC, and you get a card with it, which I will get. Which is right here. Unfortunately, they cheaped out and didn't make it holographic, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So, that's the standard thing. Inside. I have it in my system right now, so sorry, no disc art for you right now. Booklet, DLC, so that's all good, but now I will show the stuff that you get with when you pre-order and buy the special edition off of Namco Bandai's website. First up um, is going to be this poster. It's kind of like a mini poster, so like for instance, if I clean this up, there is my, I think it's a 20 inch flat screen, and a comparison of, yeah, so, you can tell that it's not a very big poster, but when you open it up, you've got Toby right there, or Obito, Badar, whatever the hell you want to call him, then Kabuto, and other Badar in the background, and then the other side you can have Killer B, or Naruto with Karama in the background there. So that's the first thing you get. Second thing you get is a soundtrack which I have not had the pleasure of listening bleh, listening to yet. It's got about 15 songs on there. I'm guessing there's no lyrics, probably just all background music, but that's pretty cool because some of the music in here has been good so far in the game I'm playing as far as I've gotten anyways, which is only the middle of the Kage Summit. After that, we've got not one, but two figurines. Now the interesting thing about this is that in Japan, when they brought out the special edition, I think it's the same now, but you were, a you were only allowed to pick one of these, but in the US, we get both with our special edition, which is really awesome. So, you got Naruto and Sasuke, and at first I was like, oh, I should leave them in the packaging, and, you know, they'll collect money, value, blah, blah, blah. But then I was like, ah, the hell with that. So I pulled them out so that you can see just how good these really look. They've got this really nice shine to them. Looks like it's picking up in the camera. I'm not sure how it's going to look when it actually plays. But you got these two stands that they're on. Really nicely done artwork on them. Uh, I mean, I can't even say how good they look. You have to actually see them in person. But they connect down at the bottom. Well, they don't really connect at the bottom, but you can put them together. So you got a back to back thing. With me, I'm going to put it on my manga stand so that they're always turning so that I get a good shot of all of them so they're not stationary like that. So, yeah, but they look really good. So, 
all of this stuff together was about, um, well, I don't know how much everyone has to pay, but for me it was only about $82. Seems like a lot, but when we don't get any special editions and then you hear about one, really good to get that. Also, um, I believe if you pre-order it at GameStop, you get a giant poster of this image right here. I happened to watch a gamer named DSP and he showed that off, so you can get that if you pre-order it at the GameStop. The other stuff is all through ba um, Namco Bandai. Go to our website, get all this good stuff, play the game. Uh, my thoughts on the game so far, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> uh, I heard that the ending is a little bit hard though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm not exactly the greatest at the game. I'd say I'm I'm decent. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, but the game's good. Just like the second one, Generations, I felt wasn't as, as great. I mean, you got a lot of more characters to play as, but they could have done so much more, so... Just throw this stuff up. Do one more pass by. And here we go. Game figurines, mini poster at the bottom here, has four different pictures, so you can really have a choice of what you want to have on there, and promo Naruto card, and also, in case most people don't notice, I mean, they usually put in the game, but at the top corner here, it won't focus, but you have uh, a code that you can put in on the game, just like in uh, Storm 2, so that's also good. And that's going to be the end of this video. So that is all there is. Thank you for watching.